G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well. Today we're looking at the updates for Lightroom Classic and we're up to version 14.2. Now while it's not a major update, there are some really fantastic features which are worth having a chat about and having a look at. First one is adaptive profiles, which we've also seen in uh, previous videos and plenty of posts online and through Adobe as well uh, as an update. So uh, exactly the same as uh, what we've seen with Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom Desktop. Uh, under the profile, under the develop module up here on the top right hand corner, we now have the option for adaptive color. And really that's just designed to give us a starting point for color adjustments and uh, a, a starting point and platform to you know further work on your images from there. So it certainly doesn't replace um, you know your normal color editing workflow, but it's uh, adaptive color using AI, um, looking at your image and uh, basically giving you, as I mentioned, a starting point to work from to uh, get your edit to where you want it to be. There's also performance improvements as well. Now, this has been a subject of uh, much discussion over many years with Lightroom where it does struggle to work efficiently. And what a lot of people find, myself included, is that it just struggles to, to complete basic tasks. And some of the tasks that uh, have certainly been improved uh, using the brush tool as an example, um, if we just drop our exposure using the brush tool, uh, you can see that it is working really, really quickly and is really responsive to uh, the tool that I'm using So, and is really responsive to the, the brush strokes that I'm making. So that will certainly be a welcome update uh, with Lightroom because uh, it, it certainly at times left a lot to be desired when uh, you're trying to work through a lot of images and it just isn't sort of keeping up with the edit speed for the majority of people. Uh, if we have a look at cropping as well, uh, you can see that the speed and performance improvements with cropping really has uh, made a big difference as well. So there's uh, certainly no lag there at all. And... Um, we're, uh, we're seeing that work really efficiently, which is a great thing. There's also been tether enhancements. Now, I'm just using the screenshot from uh, the first opening of Lightroom once the update was done uh, because I'm not in a position to uh, tether a camera at the moment. Uh, but basically, tether um, uh, enhancement, which uh, allows for focus point selection. So straight from the Adobe website, it allows you to easily adjust focus points and autofocus modes directly from the tethered live view. Uh, window for Sony, Canon and Nikon cameras. So that will certainly be uh, a very welcome update for particularly studio photographers where quite often you'll work tethered to have a larger instant review of your image within Lightroom and uh, sometimes do some edits on the spot as well. There's also, and again, I'm just reading from uh, the Adobe website, the catalog backup management, which is a great thing as well. So easily manage your catalog backups with a new backup panel in catalog settings, allowing you to open backup locations, check sizes, and delete older backups without removing actual files. Now, this is a really welcome update because when you have a large number of catalogs, now I don't because uh, I'm not a general user of Lightroom Classic, uh, but certainly for those who are, when you have a large library of images your catalogs can become quite big and heavy and uh, over time it can start to take up quite a bit of space on your hard drive and certainly for managing images and migration of images to different storage places it has caused people a few headaches over the years so that catalog backup management tool or improvement it will certainly be a welcome one for uh, those users and lastly, uh, and this is not an unusual update, but there's just support for new cameras and lenses. So certainly when looking at profiles and uh, uh, settings that uh, recognize particular camera and lens combinations uh, will help you to work within the scope of those new cameras and lenses. So some very welcome updates there. The adaptive profiles and performance improvements I think will definitely be welcomed by the majority of people uh, because they will certainly affect uh, all users of Lightroom Classic and uh, as I mentioned, will be very welcome. Thanks very much for stopping by. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.